everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about everything I do in terms of eating and exercising to lose weight. I have about 18 pounds left to lose. So everything that I do in terms of eating and exercising is tailored around a very specific goal that I have and that is to have a smaller waist, a larger, more developed lower body, and then to have a lean and toned, more feminine upper body. It's a curvy but fit look. If you haven't already seen part one to this when it comes to starting a weight loss journey, be sure you watch it. You, you can either go ahead and watch it now or be sure to watch it right after this. I'll have it linked. My starting weight is 163.6 pounds. My goal weight is 145 pounds. That's 18.6 pounds to lose within the 12 weeks. I am five feet, seven inches. That's about a pound and a half every week, which is a very healthy amount to lose per week for me. So the number one thing that has helped me the most when it comes to the weight loss journey that I've been on up to this point, and the number one thing I'm gonna be sure to focus on and keep really tight is my intermittent fasting. And then you guys who have been following me for a while now know that I practice one meal a day eating. A lot of you ask what my eating windows are or when do I decide to have my one meal. It can vary, it just depends on what I've got going on that day. I try to have eight to 10 hours of, t of fasting time after I eat and before I go to bed if that makes sense. So I'm always sure to eat my meal when I know I'll have eight to 10 hours before I go to bed. I find that when I go to bed on a very empty stomach, it helps to reduce the amount of belly fat I carry. Even if I fast through the day, if I eat like right before bed and go to sleep, I wake up bloated. It diminishes the quality of sleep that I get. If I eat and go straight to sleep every single day for like a week or two, I notice I start getting a gut. Like I said, every single tip that I'm giving you today is with a very specific shape in mind, and I eat the same thing every single day, and I'll explain that in a second. If you guys have never practiced any version of intermittent fasting, I would recommend starting off with an eight hour eating window because it can be incredibly challenging to go from eating several meals a day or even just breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then just, you know, moving into one meal a day eating. I mean, people do it and it can certainly be done, but it can be very challenging. If you're new to intermittent fasting, I'd say start with an eight or six hour eating window and then start closing the gap over time as you get used to it. But if you've been intermittent fasting girl and you haven't tried one meal a day eating yet, just try it, like move into that one meal a day eating. I'm telling you, it was a game changer for me in many ways. Like it helped with my mood. It helped with obviously my weight loss. It helped with the way that I look and my physique. The second thing that has helped me greatly when it comes to my weight loss journey thus far and that I am so excited to continue to employ, low carb eating. I think a better title for it is carb conscious eating. And the reason that I call it carb conscious instead of low carb now is because I feel like low carb has been like all twisted and tied up into the keto lifestyle. And I don't practice keto. I never have. Uh, now, this is when somebody is so intensely focused on low carb eating that they're counting the carbs in sauces, in, in vegetables, in every single thing they eat, they're making sure that these foods have very low carb content. They're looking to get closest to zero carbs a day as possible so their body can stay in the state of ketosis. When I do eat, I don't focus on like how many carbs are in the sauces or dressings or vegetables that I eat. I don't focus on that at all. In fact, sometimes I might have a little bit of rice or you know, a little bit of potatoes or something like that. Anytime that I practice a diet higher in carbs, again, I it's like it goes straight to my midsection. <laughs> it goes straight to my midsection and I tend to just look a little, a, a lot more straight up and down. It's like there isn't as much curve in the middle as I like. Whenever I eat a low carb diet or a carb conscious diet, 
that's when I just get, it's almost like outrageous how small my waist gets. Yes, there is an extent to where I naturally have a certain body type and a certain physique just like through genetics. But I'm telling you, I've seen it to where girls who have like a more very straight up and down natural genetic build, when they go into that carb conscious eating and they're sure not to eat close to bedtime, they get super snatched, like they super flat stomachs and small waists. And then from there, obviously, you can build out your lower upper body to give you more of that hourglass look. But we're going to talk more about that in a second when it comes to the way you work out for this look. The third thing that I do, I track my calories. And I know that it's something that is such an unpopular <laughs> desire. You've got to know what you're putting in your body. If you want to have any level of control over your results, you got to know what you're putting in your body. For me, I try to stay within that 12 to 1500 calorie a day limit. That's like, that's where I live, 12 to 1500 calories a day. But that can go smoothly into why I eat the same thing every day. I know some people aren't thrilled about eating the same thing every day and they don't understand why I love to do it. I only got to count those calories one time and I know exactly how many calories I'm eating every single day. Now there may be bits and pieces around like my one meal. I may have, you know, a few almonds or instead some cashews and then afterward maybe have, you know, a piece of chocolate or something like that around my one meal that I'll show you here in a second. I know exactly how many calories I'm consuming each and every day with that core piece. It's simple. I don't have to wonder every day, like, mm, what am I going to eat today? I don't have to face temptation every single day. Like, I already know what I'm going to eat. I don't have to make a new decision. <laughs> I already know where I'm going with this, and it helps me greatly when it comes to staying on track. And we all know that consistency is key. I want to show you guys exactly what it is that I eat. the core 
of my daily meal. I love it because, first of all, getting your fresh vegetables is so important. I don't have to overeat. A lot of the time, people who practice one meal a day eating tend to have to stuff themselves in order to get their full day's worth of calories. Even with the 12 to 1500 calorie a day intake, it can take a lot to get that in one meal. You'll see me going with the cheese and going with the dressing. The way that I make my chicken sometimes varies as well in terms of what I put in with my chicken. In this video, I just put the crushed tomatoes that you saw, which is so good. It kind of has a, like an Italian taste. It's so good. Like if you like Italian food, you'll love this recipe. But I always mix it up. Like today I have my chicken cooking right now and I have like a jar of this Cajun simmer sauce. I'll do like half a bottle of honey barbecue sauce. You can do honey mustard. You can do mustard just by itself. You can make a mustard chicken. You can make a soy sauce chicken. Like there's so many different ways that you can make this. Like yes, you're eating the same thing every day pretty much, but there's so many different ways you can prepare it to make you feel like you're having far more variety. So the fourth thing, that I focus on. Some of you may remember that I used to have a wicked sweet tooth and then I cut sugar for like over a year, I wanna say two years where I would eat like no sugar at all and that helped me get rid of that sweet tooth. But then I kinda started reintroducing sugar and so sometimes I just get this little craving for something sweet. When you're practicing intermittent fasting, uh, especially one meal a day eating, you come to the end of your meal and sometimes you do get that moment where it's just like, okay, it's like that do or die moment. Do you want something sweet or not? Because you don't wanna feel like you're in this position where you say no right now, but then in a few hours you realize, oh my gosh, I really want something sweet. I call it a cap off. Whenever I feel like that, I just go ahead and cap myself off. I typically take one or two small pieces of chocolate, like I'll have maybe a couple of Hershey Kisses. I got like a whole pack of these Ghirardelli chocolate squares so good and they have little caramel inside they're 70 calories per square so I just take like something like this and just cap off my meal boom a little something sweet and I'm telling you it works right away I found something so amazing you guys no joke it's a company called meal enders now I feel like they must have made it for with people like me in mind people who are practicing intermittent fasting and they just want to cap that meal off with a little something sweet signaling lozenges I'm almost done with this bag the mocha so good for those who don't like the chocolate they have like the candy kind so you got it's kind of like a lemon drop <laughs> they got the lemon flavor so it starts off as some sort of candy whatever it is you like what be it chocolate be it candy whatever it is starts off like that after you suck the candy off it turns into this lozenge whatever it's made out of it definitely sends signals to your brain to you to your mouth everything it just like cleanses your palate sends signals to the brain letting you know that you're done eating and you're not hungry anymore it says take control curb appetite get results and this just helps you close your meal out so that for the rest of the day if it's some like if you don't want to eat at all for the rest of the day it helps you cap your meal off to close your window and be done with it for the day and not have continued cravings i think it's also perfect for the person who's new to intermittent fasting like if you've never had to stop eating at a certain time and you're trying to maybe broaden that time between your meal and the time that you go to sleep but you don't want to, or maybe like you're super into late night snacking, meal enders would be perfect for you because you have that lozenge in between. Like, like I said, for the most part, if I have my little piece of chocolate, I'm good. But I've been doing this for a long time. For somebody who's new to it, you might need those signals to the brain. They sent me their chocolate mint, which is pretty good. I haven't opened the cinnamon yet. The mocha which this bag is almost gone the citrus and this is for people who kind of like the sugary candy stuff each one of these is only 15 calories 15 i'll have all that information in the description box below go check it out i should do a giveaway since i have all these bags each of these are individually wrapped so what i'll do is put a few little goodie bags together to where you can get an assortment of all the different flavors go ahead and drop either your email address or your instagram name 
in the comments below and I will choose five people to go ahead and send some meal enders to so you can give it a try. So last but not least, let's talk about what I do, what I've done, and what I'm going to do when it comes to my exercising. I have a very intentional, tailor-made workout for what? That curvy fit physique, okay? Very simply, I'll be working out six days a week and in those six days I'll have two upper body days two lower body days, and two core days in each week. I'll be doing them at the gym. I have my entire workout split. So in that workout split, I put both what I do when I use free weights and what I do when I use the machines. Some people aren't comfortable with using free weights, and I completely understand. Um, form is king when it comes to working out to make sure that you do not injure yourself and to make sure you get the results you're wanting. I have the entire workout split for free on my website. Go ahead, hop over there now. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box below. It'll get sent directly to your email address in seconds. It's called the Curvy Fit Workout Split, okay? So this is for those who want smaller waist, larger lower half, and a more lean, feminine upper half. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember to take care of yourself. See you next time.